Hey guys, this is Raven Shift, and today I'm going to show you how to install the graphic mods for Assetto Corsa to make it go from this to this. Now the links to all these mods and features will be available in the description box below, so make sure you get them. The first thing you need to get after you purchase Assetto Corsa is Content Manager. Trust me, you really need to get this as it makes life a lot easier with mods. Now there is a light version as well on the site with the basic features, but I'd suggest you go for the full version by donating to them. This unlocks the full potential of Content Manager and gives you access to a lot of work in progress features as well. Once you install it, go to Settings, Assetto Corsa, Video, and make sure you adjust all the graphic settings according to what your system can handle. If you look closely, there is a small eye button beside every setting, which is really helpful. So click on it to see what each setting changes and it also shows how heavy it is in terms of performance. So do make your changes accordingly. Make sure you install the 7-zip plugin too while installing Content Manager. The next essential you need is the custom shaders patch. This is one mega graphic overhaul mod that adds tons of features and visual effects to the game. It's free to download with almost all the features available. But if you want to activate the oh so beautiful rain effects, you'll have to support the creator Ilya, also known as X4Fab, on his Patreon page. There you'll be able to get the latest preview or beta versions of CSP as well as rain effects. Now you don't have to pay for membership every month to have the rain effects, but if a new version is released later on and you update it from Content Manager, the rain effects will be gone again. Then you'll have to install the latest CSP with rain effects from his Patreon page. Again, the link will be in the description, so all you have to do is download the latest version and drag and drop into Content Manager. It's that simple. Once you're done with that, open CM and make sure you set up CSP to auto update and always select the latest version so that you don't have any issues with the mods. Now Soul is what really makes the game pop when it's paired with CSP and Content Manager. It adds the day-night cycle which you can speed up or slow down and it also adds a wide range of different weather patterns from clear to sandstorms to thunderstorms. But be aware that to get the rain and thunderstorms to work, you'll need the rain effects from CSP's paid version to be installed or else the rain won't work. Now Soul doesn't provide rain effects, it's a part of the custom shaders patch. You will have to install Soul manually and there is a complete in-detail guide on how to install on the race department page in case you're stuck. Now, if you have an older version of Soul, you'll have to delete it first. So first, copy the Soul uninstall.bat to the root folder of Assetto Corsa and run it. If it doesn't work, try running it as administrator. Next, copy the folders, apps, content, extension and system to your root Assetto Corsa folder. Once this is done, you need to set it up in Content Manager with a couple of steps. First, go to Settings, Custom Shaders Patch, Weather Effects, and then select Soul in Weather Script and Soul 2.2, or whichever is the latest, in Weather Controller. Next, in Settings, go to Assetto Corsa, Apps, and Enable Python Apps. And then enable Soul Config, Soul Planner, Soul Weather App, and Soul Custom Weather. Now choosing PP filters is all up to personal preference. There are loads of really good post-processing filters available for Assetto Corsa from paid to free ones. So make sure you explore and install the ones that hits the sweet spot for you. Be careful though, as some of these filters can be pretty heavy on your system. So make sure you choose the one that provides smooth gameplay for you along with balanced performance. Now I keep switching between PP filters, but if you need a good starting point, try out Immersive Filter, Horizon Shades and Photorealistic Filter. Again, the links will be in the description and do try out the PP filters from Soul 2. Now Reshade is really good. It basically mimics ray tracing and makes everything pop on screen. There are a few presets shared by some people on YouTube too, which are really good. But be aware that it is a really heavy mod and can literally overwork your machine if it can't handle the preset. Personally, I did use Reshade for a long time, but I found out that my PC couldn't handle everything and started dropping frames. So I stuck to CSP and PP filters for a smoother gameplay. I feel more comfortable running more frames while gameplay and then making it pop with color correction while editing my videos. Make sure you have the latest version of CSP for everything to work properly. In CSP settings, click on car configs and on the top right, click on the three dots and select the install automatically option. Then do the same for car textures, cars VAO, track configs and track VAO. This ensures that CM updates the cars and tracks whenever an update is available. 
Now before you run reshade, try out all the features of CSP as they really make the game look good and are regularly optimized and keep getting new features added with every update. The rain effects does not come with Soul, even if Soul has rain weather and thunderstorms, it only provides a weather system with clouds and lighting. So to get the actual rain effects and rain drops, you need to get the latest beta or preview version of CSP from X4Fab's Patreon page. While installing Content Manager, make sure you install the 7-zip plugin as some mods like Shutoko Revival Project come in compressed 7-zip files. Now in the description below, I've added a few more links for the PP filters that I use. So do try them out and if you have any favorites, feel free to share in the comments section below. This is Raven Shift. I'll see you in the next video.